Hello and welcome back to the channel on our continuing voyage to become better blues players. My name's Mark and in this lesson we're going to look at the main solo to Albert King's Crosscut Saw. So the way the video is going to work, you're going to see me play the entire solo in full over a backing track and then we'll come back on the other side and I'll show you all the licks one by one. So, here's the example. So that was the example there and what we'll do now is pull all those licks apart one by one. But before we do a little bit of housekeeping, first of all, this is the main solo. This follows on from our previous lesson which looked at the intro solo. If you're interested in that, see description below. Secondly, Albert King played in a very unconventional way. He restrung the guitar in a certain way, he played left-handed and all these kind of different things. What I've done is I've made the solo so it's as close to what he played as you can play on a regular strung guitar. But there are some slight subtle differences from here, here and there, but we'll talk about that as we go through. Um, thirdly, tab. There is tab available for this lesson. If you would like a free copy of the tab, send me an email. My email address is in the details below and ask for the cross cut saw tab. Um, and then next time I'm online, I'll simply reply and email that back to you. The tab is paid for by the Patreon supporters who also pay to keep the lights and the cameras and everything else going here. So a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. They get a few extra lessons and in this uh, Alba King series, they'll be getting a couple of extra Alba King lessons too. Okay, so that's all the housekeeping out the way. Let's get on with the licks. Okay, first of all, it starts with the turnaround to the, before the main solo starts, and I included the turnaround lick. It's the lick that goes like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, and nice and slow. And again, nice and slow. Okay, and then we're into lick one. Lick one goes like this. Okay, and nice and slow. And again, nice and slow. Okay, so that was lick one. Lick two now goes like this. One, two, three, four, one. And nice and slow. And again, nice and slow. Okay, and then we're up to lick three. Lick three comes in halfway between, um, yeah, halfway through the next bar, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so it starts with this big bend. We basically wait two beats and then do a big bend, 10, 10 up to 12. And then come off to 10 on the B string. The way I do it is just take a slow bend from 10 all the way up. You have to hold it for a little bit and then come down and then you're landing this 10 here on the B string on beat four of the next bar. Okay, so that part, Nice and slow goes like this, um, and I'll count through it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the way I'm counting it. Okay, and then the second part of it goes like this. Okay, and I'll do that nice and slow. And 
And again, nice and slow. And one more time, even slower. Okay, um, you can play the same lick here by doing like a And he might be doing that, I'm not sure. Um, I, I personally, I like it there in box position two. One more time, that second part up to speed. Um, but it does mean we're bending with our index finger and generally we don't do a lot of bends with our index finger, particularly um, full tone bends. But I think that sounds more authentic to how Albert King's doing it. Also, that's a lick that Stevie Ray Vaughan, I think used quite a lot as well and stole from here. And when Stevie Ray Vaughan does it, he definitely does it with the index finger bend. So that was lick three. Lick four now goes like this. One, two, three. Okay, and I'll try and do it nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and I'll do it again nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, that little piece there, I must admit I found that a little tricky to play slow. Um, in fact, I had a lot of trouble learning this lick. This one's quite quite tricky. And actually, when you listen to the original Alba King, each of these bends seem to be to slightly different pitch. The way I've done it is to play four bends, each take an eight upper whole tone, but on that fourth one, holding it, at the whole tone and then pushing it another half. So you get four, the four bends will go like this. Before then coming back off to. Okay, so that was lick four. As I say, I particularly struggled with that one when I was learning. Lick five then is a variation on our turnaround lick and that goes like this. Okay, and nice and slow. And again, nice and slow. Tricky thing with this one is what is catching those, uh, those two at the end. Okay, so that was, what did we call that? We call that lick five. Lick six then is the second half of the guitar solo. So we've gone round the 12 bar once, we're coming back in and we do this. Okay, and nice and slow. Okay, so in off that turnaround lick and into that lick is actually quite a little difficult move because we're kind of jumping around, but playing lick five into lick six will go like this. Okay, you basically gotta make that big jump. Okay, lick six, that was lick six. Lick seven then goes like this. One, two, three, four, one. That's the lick, it's three, three bends on the third one. We go up and then come down before coming off to 10. And then we've got this eight slide down. Okay, so lick eight then would go like this. One, two, three, four, one. So here it is again, up to speed. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so again, we've got this big bend to start with. That end bit is, again, is these finger, first finger bends. I'll do that nice and slow. Difference here though is that um, in the middle there, we've got a half bend uh, and then a full bend. 
Okay, so I'll do just that bit again nice and slow. So we've come in off the big bend. And we end with this slide down. Okay. So that was, what was that? That was, was that lick eight? I think that was lick eight. So lick nine, then we'll go like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, I'll do it again up to speed. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, and nice and slow. One, two, three, four, one. And the trick with this is just the, the pick and pattern between the, the strings. Um, Again, this one took me a little bit to get down, but uh, once it's there, it's not too difficult. We'll do it again nice and slow. One, two, three, four, one. So that was lick nine. Lick ten then starts immediately after it. Starts with this slide in and then this weird bend thing. Okay, nice and slow. And again, nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. And then where are we? Uh, lick 11 is the standard Alba King turnaround lick again. It goes like this. Uh, okay, and I'll do it nice and slow. And again, nice and slow. Okay, so that was it, all the licks, the whole solo, twice round the 12 bar blues. Um, there are a few differences to the way he actually plays it because of the way he's playing the guitar in a very different way, restringing it, tuning it down, thinner strings, bigger bends, all those kind of things. I've tabbed it out, as I've said, as best as I can for a regular strung guitar. Big thank you to my Patreon supporters who keep all of this going, pay for these lessons. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll leave you with the full solo again, and I'm gonna put the names of the Patreon supporters up on screen to say a big thank you to them. So thanks, and I'll see you next time.